What's up guys, welcome back to episode 6 of my past 2021 Master League series with Liverpool. As always, thank you guys so much for the support and check out uh, the last episode if you missed it. We're starting off today with an away game against the Brighton in the league. So yeah, we have to get the 3 points now. City is uh, on the same amount of points. Um, so yeah, we have to, uh, you know, try to uh, keep winning every single game. Uh, we're starting off though with Mohamed Salah after 11 minutes. What an amazing finish by him. And a very good attack as well. That is exactly... The opening that I wanted to this game uh, because sometimes this season we have been struggling against uh, you know deep lying sides such as Brighton for example uh, you know teams that uh, just park the bus against us and keep a lot of possession uh, but now we've scored after 11 minutes which I'm very happy about so hopefully we can get another one as well and uh, win this game but yeah perfect take a look at this from Mohamed Salah great control and uh, yeah very solid finish as well so a uh, great start to this match uh, but here comes uh, Brighton uh, with some passing as well uh, to Gross he goes for the shot, but uh, it's not gonna trouble Allison. Uh, no problem for him. Uh, 42 minutes now, right before half time. Let's see if we can get uh, another one. Uh, Thiago picks it up and finds uh, Bobby Firmino. Uh, he's gonna go past one right there. Great dribbling by him. And he goes for the shot. And it's gone in via the post. So, what a finish by Firmino. He doesn't always score goals. He usually gets, you know, a lot of assists and everything like that. But uh, that shot right there, that finish is a uh, really, really top uh, quality. Um, doesn't, uh, doesn't really look, uh, you know, that. Uh, difficult to do but I promise you guys that shot right there to get it in the post as well is uh, is difficult to do so yeah very nice finish and that means that we are 2-0 up now against uh, Brighton away so yeah look at this for me no great dribbling and then the shot that uh, pretty much just sums him up uh, quickly nothing really happened in the second half that's the worth uh, showing and uh, we just uh, sealed out the win uh, got the three points a clean sheet as well which is always nice and uh, Roberto Firmino gets the man of the match with a 7.5 rating Chelsea also beat Beat Manchester United away. Arsenal has also won. Let's have a look at City. Yeah, they won a 3 0 away against Aston Villa. They are looking super strong now. Uh, so we are on the same amount of points. Uh, they have, yeah, we have basically the same uh, goal difference as well. Um, so we are literally just equal in the table now. Um, so we cannot afford, uh, you know, to draw anything like that. So uh, Van Dijk is looking forward to the next game in the Champions League as well. This is also very important um, because I think we'll have to try to win this one uh, if you want to get to the first uh, in the group. Because because Napoli has been winning almost every single game now and I have a feeling they'll win the next one as well um, so let's hopefully get the three points in this one and then uh, try to beat Napoli in the next uh, game which is gonna be the last one in the group stages uh, then we'll be able to get uh, first in the table but uh, yeah we have to win this one against the Dynamo Kiev which we smashed in the first game against them away so uh, it should be nothing different here at home uh, we're starting off with the Suarez here he is uh, starting this match uh, Salah though he finds Suarez and uh, what finish he is the best finisher that we have at this uh, football club he doesn't always start the games he usually comes on and you know sometimes we start him in the Champions League matches uh, but when this guy gets a chance he really does need the score it is absolutely incredible uh, how good this guy is at the finishing and yeah nice by Mohamed Salah as well just to uh, take that ball forward and release it to Suarez at the perfect moment so great start to this match let's see if we can get another one Oxlade Chamberlain with the long shot we know we can score from there uh, uh, but uh, yeah, he gets uh, very close. Hopefully one day uh, one of those uh, long shot attempts will go in. Uh, but what is going on here? Dynamo Kiev has scored the next goal and... Uh I think that was Joe Gomez right there, not in position. Once again, he's making massive mistakes. We're not there on the second ball, uh, but Joe Gomez, that is uh, that is your guy right there. Um, you know, Van Dijk and Gomez, uh, you know, could have been at him at the same time a bit quicker, but once again, very uh, poor defending. So we're gonna have to try to bounce back from this one. Uh, Van Dijk picks up the ball right there, brings it forward, and he hits Suarez with an amazing pass. Look at that from Van Dijk, and Suarez is going to score. Of course he is, but. Let's Let's talk about that assist from Van Dijk. If that was his uh, fault at the first goal, he definitely has redeemed himself. That is one of the best assists you'll see so far, um, you know, in this series. Uh, absolutely world class. And uh, yeah, Suarez, of course, is the uh, best person to have a one on one. He is never going to miss uh, those sort of chances. So we're going into half time with a 2 1 win. It's been uh, quite a few goals so far in this half. It's been a very entertaining game. Uh, but what is that from Oxley Chamberlain? Awful clearance. And now Dynamo Kiev has another chance and I think once again Joe Gomez where uh, what are you doing right there I cannot believe it literally he went through him 
I, uh, I'm getting very, very annoyed now with Gomez because every single episode he has like three, three mistakes or something on average. It is not great, and yeah, Gomez of course should be there. He's the center back and everything. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, he should be tied to him. I cannot believe uh, he scored so easily. So it's now actually 2-2 in this game. Uh, Roberto Firmino now finds Nabi Kaita, who's been subbed on uh, to Harvey Elliott. He's gonna go for the shot, of course. But the keeper makes a nice save. So the game actually ends 2-2. It's confirmed that we have uh, progressed throughout the group stages. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see the Napoli result to see if they actually have uh, drawn. And yes, they have as well. Nil-nil in the Napoli game. Which means that we still have a chance to actually finish first in the table as well. The last game in the group stages are going to be away to Napoli. So we just have to win that one. And we'll finish the first and get an easier knockout run. So hopefully we'll do that. A bit of luck in there from us. But uh, yeah, we made it through the group stages one, like I said. To be honest, getting through the group stages doesn't feel like an achievement to me. We came here to win this thing. And that's all there is to it. So yeah, Van Dijk with the absolute winner's mentality right there. And if you guys watched the last episode, you know that Diogo Jota, I tried to sign him. But uh, yeah, they've declined every single offer. So I'm going to go ahead right now, try to pay his release clause of 31 million. I'm also going to try to offer... Frame is 64,000 a week, um, so we'll see if it does indeed accept that. A couple episodes ago, also, as you guys see, you know which center back should be signed because, yeah, uh, you know, Gomez has been making so many mistakes. I got so many comments, and most people did say Urimir the Tao, uh, mostly because of his age. You know, he's 22 years old, already 83 rating. Um, you know, Jimenez, if you were to buy him, will have to pay like 60 million or something, which is quite a lot. And you know, Kulibali is like 100 million, so uh, this guy, not too expensive, um, you know very young, has a lot of potential and yeah, could be an amazing signing for us in defense. I'm gonna offer 34 million to Real Madrid, which is basically his release clause, um, so it's all up to uh, Edwin Militao to decide if he wants to leave that club uh, for Liverpool, so I'm not too sure how much game time he gets for Real Madrid, maybe he starts every single game, I'm not too sure, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to try to see what happens right there, and that would obviously be a very, very good signing for us. Now we're back in the Premier League, and we have a home game against the Sheffield United, which also is a difficult team to break down. Uh, but we have to try to win it obviously because City is uh, really winning almost every single game right now So we're starting off at Trent Alexander-Arnold finds Mohamed Salah uh, He's still going and uh, it ends up to Mino Mino in the middle right there Keeper is not able to uh, you know clear that to a good position He literally just declared that in the middle of the box That's uh, not a very good thing to do uh, because you know sometimes there can be people there um, To pick up that ball and Mino Mino was perfectly positioned and uh, now we are up 1-0 as well early in this game which is very good and um, so uh, let's try to uh, let's try to keep uh, going and get another one uh, Saladol loses out on this one but Minamino picks up the second ball he is everywhere and um, Salah to Firmino uh, Firmino goes for a shot as well this time though he's not able to score it he was under quite a bit of pressure as well uh, but some good moments guys early in this match from Minamino nice ball there though for Sheffield United and he goes for the shot obviously uh, but Allison makes a very nice save. He saved us quite a few times in this episode. What a keeper we have. Uh, Firmino now to Nabi Kaita. Uh, Mohamed Salah goes past another one uh, right here. Uh, keeps uh, going with the ball. He's gonna find the Sadio Mane. He almost has no stamina left. Uh, Firmino now. He's gonna find uh, Robertson here down the left hand side. Back to Bobby. To Mohamed Salah in the middle. And he's gonna keep the ball a bit here. Uh, find Andrew Robertson. We're gonna have to try to go for the cross I think. Uh, loses out on the ball though so it's not the best but Minamino is there to smash it in an amazing pressure right there for Minamino he was right on him and uh, that is his second of the match and uh, when you score two goals you have to go ahead and celebrate with some confetti right there look at that celebration that's the first time we have seen that being done in this series but a yeah, very risky ball there from Sheffield United to pass it straight into the box again and of course Minamino there with amazing pressure reads the game perfectly Picks up the ball and doesn't even need a touch after that. Just smashes it home. And Minamino, what a player this guy has turned out to be. He doesn't even start every single game. I'm probably going to have to try to start him every single game now. In like the number 10 role or something like that. Uh, but literally every single time he comes in and plays, he always puts in a really great performance. So uh, yeah, if you guys are enjoying Minamino's game, uh, drop a like on this episode. Let's try to go for a 1,000 likes on this one as well. Uh, that would be amazing. So I'll try to get another one up uh, tomorrow. But uh, yes. Yeah, 
City of course won their game so both teams now on 31 points it is so good uh, it looks like City and Liverpool once again are going to go for the uh, title race it's between those the two teams Messi has also won the Ballon d'Or so congratulations to him hopefully one time in the future we're gonna see one of our players win that award but uh, Messi with 873 votes uh, does indeed win it over Lewandowski in the second place and Neymar in third Hansi Flick has also won the world's best manager award that is obviously very deserved he won the Champions League last year so he's obviously gonna win that one Diogo Jota though once again not able to get him he's now said no because he's not convinced we'll play him in the right role so I don't know guys let me know in the comment section down below right now do I send one more bid for Jota or do we just go for someone else please let me know in the comment section down below but now Eddie Minato he has need accepted so that means uh, we'll be able to get him in January and I think it's like in December right now so in about a month's time in a couple episodes though uh, we will see Eddie Minato for the first time um, so that's gonna be a very good signing for us and yeah very cheap as well only 30 million that's almost nothing especially when he's like you know 22 uh, 83 rating that is an amazing amazing signing and uh, Minamino as well has made the team of the month what a player this guy is man I absolutely love him and um, yeah he's, he's gonna start them he's gonna start them more games now for me definitely uh, because every single time he plays uh, we seem to win the games and you know create a lot of chances as you guys know though you can select some players into your favorite players list and Minamino is gonna be the first one of the series there's over a couple other players who deserves it uh, but Minamino he's gonna get the first favorite player on the list I think he's deserved that by far so congratulations to him hopefully he accepts that and then we'll see that after this game something very interesting no, guys, we're gonna play the FIFA World Cup final. Hopefully, if we can win the first the FIFA Club World Cup game right there, uh, that's gonna happen. I think maybe in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. I absolutely cannot wait for it. I didn't even I didn't even uh, think about uh, that it was actually on the game. It is not on FIFA, so I'm happy that it is on PES. I'm very excited for that tournament uh, coming up in the next episode. I think. Uh, but now we have uh, the last game of the episode: Aston Villa away, and uh, of course Minamino has started this one as well. Tries to find Harvey Elliott though. I had to worked it quite a bit because so many players uh, were low on stamina uh, but Nabi Kaita edge of the box and he goes for the curved shot and Nabi Kaita once again we have scored a goal early in the match only eight minutes now and Nabi Kaita with a world-class strike we have so much depth in midfield right now even though we're gonna sell Vinaldum he's gonna leave in January I believe um, you know still we have Oxley Chamberlain we have Curtis Jones coming up so many midfielders um, so I'm really happy about the amount that we have right now and to see Nabi Kaita also get on the score sheets is gonna do him very well um, so I'm happy about uh, that uh, but now Austin Villa with a big chance Adrian actually makes a save believe it or not I cannot believe it so yeah we go into the first half uh, with a 1-0 lead uh, Harvey Elliott now wins a free kick for us in a very good position as well and um, this uh, you know should turn into a goal even though we don't have Trent on the pitch at the moment uh, which is a free kick taker Suarez can hopefully do the job and it deflects off a player but uh, yeah that would not have gone in anyway and uh, not the best uh, free kick right there Harvey Elliott on the ball now nice uh, dribbling he finds Luis Suarez with the bicycle kick of course he tries for something spectacular Aston Villa now with the corner and what is Adrian doing I cannot believe it he could have just caught that one I, I, uh, this is the last time I play Adrian because you never know what happens when he is in goal but the most important thing we get three points at a very difficult place and um, yeah Tottenham Hotspur won a 3-1 Arsenal 4-1 as well uh, City they won again so yeah it is very tough right now guys so basically have to win every single game or see they can run away with it um, so they have one better goal difference than us at the moment as well uh, but yeah very very tough against the city guys it's gonna be a, a crazy crazy side to race this season as well but Minamino has now been registered to the favorite players list so congratulations to him if you guys feel like anybody else deserves this let me know in the comment section down below uh, but this comes after this and yeah basically had an interview with the club so happy to see that but if you guys want to see another episode tomorrow let's go for 1000 likes thank you once again so much for watching and I'll see you soon with episode number seven. Peace out.